Sometimes you're working on a track and you want to do something special, something unexpected, something cheeky, you know, to uh, to shock people on the dance floor or at least surprise them. And uh, I've got this track that I'm working on right now. There's a little break coming up. And back to, uh, well, let's call it the, the chorus. Um, but what if I want to add a little fill right over here for maybe one bar? Uh, well, you know, first of all, I'd need to make some space for a bar. So I select that range, one bar, this is one bar. And I go to create and insert silence. And this will select everything in the track. From here on, move it over to the right for one bar and give me a silent bit for one bar that I can work in. So I go to insert silence and there we go. Everything's moved to the right. And I've got a bit of space to work with. Now I do have a one bar fill right over here. So let's drag that over there. And let's see what happens now. Well, you know, first of all, it's fun. It's nice. I could totally work with this. But this creates a problem for me uh, in the arrangement. Because what happens is I've got this extra bar now and everything coming behind this has moved over one bar. So arranging is going to be a little more problematic. It's not impossible, but the one starts here now at this point. But if you look at the grid lines, this is a, a full four bars and this is a full four bars. So I'd like to have everything actually moved over, but that's not possible because that way I can't insert a fill right here. So what do you think I should do? Well, how about I move over the grid? Well, that's not possible either. What I can do, however, is create a new point where the grid starts again. So I can keep the fill, I can keep everything in place, but right at the drop, I can create a new downbeat. So from that point, the grid starts all over. Look, I'm going to select the point that I want the grid to start over again. I'm going to insert a time signature change. And normally this would mean, uh, you know, maybe go from 4-4 four, four to 3-4 or to 6-8, whatever works for you at that moment. But for this, I'm just going to keep it 4-4. Four, four. And if you look closely, the grid is now again back to where I want it. This is now the one. And this is a full four bars. So from here on, I can do all the edits and all the copying that I want. It's all going to stay on the grid. So uh, there's a great hack to insert stuff, move everything over, but keep the grid where you need it.